Okay. No jaw and sadness. I wanted yeah. to talk to him about shirts. I wonder if he got his Street Fighter figures yet. Um, probably not. That may be where he's at. Let's do this. God, Max. Three, two, one. This is Radio Free Cybertron, episode 574, recorded June 6th, 2017. I am Brian Kilby, and I'm back. God, I am tired. I'm well, so that's tired. Right, you weren't here last week. No. I forgot. Yeah. We so, I'm Chris. Off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a parent now, and it's weird. That is weird. I can't even imagine you as a parent. I know. Yeah. I can't either. You have enough trouble managing your own life, let alone that of, like, you know, children who depend on you for literally everything. Yeah. It's odd. Uh, I would never be a parent. I can't do it. But I'm here. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm giving you crap. I fully acknowledge I'm not equipped to ever be a parent, and I'm I'm basically okay with that, honestly. So the other parent on the show, Diecast, is here. <laughs> Uh, well, speaking on. of not equipped to be a parent, <laughs> John's a parent. He's he's equipped, but he's not here. Yeah, John's fine. Like I have complete confidence in John. Basically, on, on every level of life, he seems like he's just got this all figured out. Yeah. There's Don. Hello. I want Don to meet the kids. You need to come down, or we could go up, go to Golden Corral, Ooh. and we can move in with you, and they can <laughs> and they can play with your Japanese toys. Let them run through Don's apartment. Yes. <laughs> no, it'd be, be, be more like stumble and fall through my apartment. They've yet to be in my office. I haven't allowed them to be in my office yet. I know I'm terrible. Well, no, actually, I think that's probably a good decision. <laughs> They're yeah. safer not in your office. This is true. That's true. That's this is true. true. Well, 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 if they were in his office, well, they would only be like... struck you know, in the head by an ottoman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or basically, you know, they, they wouldn't be transformed right. Because they're in the, you know... Yeah, so uh, we heard from Matt. Rob, how are you doing? Uh, not too bad. That's Hide good. the most expensive things before you let them in their uh, in your office, though, I'm not. because those will be the ones that will break if they if they get in there. Yeah, and the ones that we're magically attracted to, also, yeah. like with uh-huh. just, you know, just by random or random anything made of gold plastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh god! Same thing. Yeah, hide thunder clash. Oh yeah. 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 Do you need to redesign your office now so everything is at least five feet off the floor? Dear God. Then I, they'll just start climbing for it. Things would have to, everything yeah. would have to hanging. It would have to hang yeah. from the, yeah. the ceiling. <laughs> so the, the, the one thing is... how striking that display would be, though. Yeah, that's true. The, the, one, the one thing, though, like, you know, I don't sleep a lot. I mean, lack of sleep is not a concern, but ever since this, the lack of quality sleep. Normally, I could a bomb could explode in my front yard and I wouldn't wake up. Now, if like a gnat is in the room and it farts, I wake up. I'm like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Uh-huh. So yeah, I'm exhausted, like every other adult that I have to deal with. I know what it's like now, people. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, a couple notes. One, our t-shirt store is up finally. Uh, John did a great job of setting all this up. It's at tfradio.net slash shirts. tfradio.net slash shirts. It's pretty cool. So you can uh, pick out sh- shirts that uh, one says Radio Free Cybertron. And then one says Radio Free Cybertron in like G1-ish colors. There's a, I'm a G1 guy shirt. And if you're a gal, you could be a G1 gal. Hmm? I think uh, the most popular one, actually if you sh- sort by... Uh, popularity which you can the most popular shirt is the professional robot collector shirt it's pretty cool tfradio.net i'm eyeing up yeah yes yep tfradio.net slash shirts i I, I like the uh i got better things to do tonight than die you should buy it go ahead don it looked looked great on you yeah i will i will look like uh, and chris and rob will get this I will look like in a green and black shirt. I will look like watermelon arms. Mm, I don't know. Mm. I think you look great. Absolutely great. And another note: tformers dot com got a really nice facelift this week. Mm. Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah, Jack's been working really hard behind the scenes to um, bring this live and get us a more uh, responsive site for mobile devices. And the side benefit for desktop is you get these nice, big, uh, clear pictures, and everything just kind of stands out a little bit better. Uh, we're actually really happy with how this is shaping up. And you may also notice some faster page load times because we've done some other optimizations behind the scenes that I participated in heavily over the weekend that I'm fairly proud of the results of. So. Nice. 
we've been uh, tuning things on the visible side and on the back end, and it's still a work in progress. There's more things to be rolled out, but, uh, you know, everything basically works right now. So you can see right here, uh, people watching video, I'm showing oh, you right yeah. here on mobile. It looks so much better. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so that is awesome. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's see here. Did it, if I'm off a step again, it's because I'm so tired. <laughs> he needs caffeine. No, I need sleep. Okay, caffeine so doesn't do it. We, we agreed before we started, Matt needs to go first with what we got this week. So, yes, Matt, what did you get this week? I got a car. Nice! What's its name? It, no, uh, no, 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 you need just, to say, a brand new car! A brand new go. car. A 2018 Chevy Cruze. Hmm. Six-speed manual transmission. Boo! Awesome! Oh, it, it, yay. Is it like, yes. Is it like a is it like a hybrid or just regular no. gas or regular gas? Hmm. Uh, picked it up this morning, actually, around eleven nice. o'clock. Yeah, put about fifty That's... miles on it already, just playing around. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, so what is it? What'd you get? 20, 2018 Chevy Cruze. We've been over this. Brian's well, off a step tonight because he's so uh, tired, <laughs> and it's pretty in blue. Yes, no. it is actually a very nice shade of blue, which Matt will not believe I think is actually true because of the email exchange we had earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. When the first thing I asked him after he sent us a picture of it is, so did you pick that color or is that just what they had in stock? <laughs> My answer was yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I wanted. and the, Well, they actually didn't have it. They had to travel to get it for me mm. because I, I like manual transmission is a, a demand, not a request. It is a demand. Based on where you live, it makes sense. It's just for most yeah, I, people, I don't think they understand the preference. Yeah, I'm I'm in West Virginia. I'm not a lot of flat, straight city driving. You know, it's up and down hills. I need to distribute power accordingly. So, so manual transmission. What, what about uh, what about the cars that have the hybrid transmission? That um, that basically you can do manual or automatic, or it's it's a it's kind of in my mind like a fake manual since there's no it's, clutch. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a fake manual, and it's. That's just like asking for trouble. That is way too much stuff that could go wrong. Yeah. It's a gimmick, kind of like putting a big arm or foot, you know, piece on your chest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I like no drawing the manual. Use it. I, I, I also finished off Abominus. I'm so jealous. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, actually, um, so did I. You got the nose yeah. monster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, the, the, the best figure out of the, out of the set. It I really think we is. all. Really is. I think we all jumped on these right away just because of the problems with Wave Two. Like I oh, didn't oh, finish I Abominus. Yeah, I didn't finish Abominus because I'm still waiting for my Wave Two figures to come in, and except for Blackwing, which XV got for me because yeah. it was the only one that was and sold that was out like two months ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Abominus would look. Yeah, like they, they they really yeah. detract. Um, I they're they're good figures. Uh, I do have some issues. Like Blot needs a little bit of floor polish on the elbows, mm -hmm. so that's going to be a thing. Uh, anybody that did not like Ripper Snapper for being, you know, pretty much an aerial bot, you're not going to like Cutthroat at all. <laughs> you know, actually, I okay. So like, I think my order of preference is Blot, uh, Cutthroat. Ripper, Snapper, and then Sinner Twin. Sinner Twin's the worst one of all of them by far. No, Sinner Twin is arm. basically Air Raid. <sighs> Sinner Twin's now, arm is horrible on mine because it is it is so loose. It just a wobbly it, shoulder. Yeah, yes. wobbly Sinner so Twin. Fun. Sinner Twin has the the Air I Raid the uh, on movable the same shoulder. Okay, well, uh, as do I. I I picked up. I went last week as we as y'all remember. I ordered them while we were on while we were on the air. I was or, ordered them from uh, Toy Dojo, and they came in on Saturday. And uh, it was nice to get something first, uh, you know, <laughs> relatively speaking, because you know yeah. it was just nice and it was also nice to not have to worry about the distribution issues. So that way, if I do see any, I can help other people get theirs. Now, I like Ripper Snapper. I think I like Blot the best. Ripper Snapper and That's Center Twin are kind of, I think. yeah. Ripper Snapper and Center Twin are kind of sort of tied for second. I do not like Cutthroat. I think Cutthroat mm. is terrible. 
He even he makes a weird looking not. leg. Well, see, well, see, like I've got mine. See, I, I'm wheel. basing mine on my. I'm basing mine on my G1. And this then is how I have my, my be G1. an arm. Yeah, but <laughs> Cutthroat, his his feet, his legs do not hold together that well in foot mode. Mm -hmm. uh, the peg still, you know, the peg is not made up of two slots merged together. It's one solid slot sandwiched between two legs, so it's a little more steady than before. But his his lower legs won't stay pegged together, and his head is the most fragile, fall apart piece of crap I have oh, seen. His, his beak. I, I his, think you got his beak. That QC draw here, Don. Well, no, no, it's just. It's just uh, the fact that if if you try transforming it, the whole head will pop off. And if you're not I, careful, that I did not that have that fin. problem. <laughs> I did not have that problem. But when I tried to open his beak, the bottom jaw popped off. Yeah, and <laughs> when I reassembled it, that little fin to get that little fin in back in the middle, that was just not fun at all. I like Center Twin. He he does a lot. And but he cleans up as a pretty interesting looking lake. You know, I, I like Center Twin. I like Blot. Hunger, man, he's just kinda there for the torso. Cause the, yeah. the be the the beast mode is just I like the robot mode. The beast mode I can see why people said that was a modified silver bolt mold, because I can see that. But he, yeah. At least the robot mode is good, and the and the torso mode is good. The beast mode, alt mode, I do not like. Block. Yeah. I like the fact you've got the synergy with the arms pointing backwards on Ripper Snapper and Block. That that adds a lot that you can have that kind of balance on the figure. I like they tried to duplicate the rub up symbols with the stickers. I mean, at least it's, it was a good attempt. But the stickers are not that great. One thing that surprises me personally is I'm really not as put out by the matching hands, not matching the feet. I kind of thought I would be. Yeah, but no, I'm actually, not. I I observed that too, and I found that contrary to what I was expecting, like they may not make the best looking abominus that way, uh, versus having like uniform black hands or like all purple or something. But on the individual figures. They actually really work well because they really like blend in as part of the bodies, especially yeah. in the beast modes. Like yeah. for for Cutthroat, it's almost essential to have this on here to stabilize the wings, but it also yeah. just like completely fits into the look of the the so monster I, mode. I, I wasn't paying attention. I, I, really I just thought I just assumed they were magenta, so I didn't even catch that when I was looking at it. So. Yeah. It it also helps if you're using Ripper Snapper and Blot as you know Ripper Snapper has a dark blue and Blot has a purple, so it blends together a little better than some of the other combinations would. It doesn't stand yeah. out quite as much. And well, uh, well I like I yeah. like Center Twin as a leg more since I turned his his uh, Hellhound heads oh. out <laughs> forward. Yeah, that's it, cool. And with uh, with Cutthroat's beak there, it kind of makes up for the loss of the G1 uh, dragon head knees from Hunger. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, that is messing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The thing I thought was really you know, interesting when I was messing with these is like Blot and Ripper Snapper are basically ninety percent the same engineering. There's minor minor changes between them, but like technically Ripper Snapper does more when it transforms, but it accomplishes less. Like. Uh, it uses the aerial bot joint in the legs to collapse it up and make the shark body, where Blot just folds the legs back up around, doesn't even really transform them. But in doing that, you accomplish so much more in changing the silhouette from what the robot mode looks like. Ripper Snapper just looks like the robot mode leaned forward, basically. Yeah, Compressed yeah. and leaned but forward. That's, but it that's doesn't really make a striking just... difference. But Blot... You bend him in half backwards. Ball. Yeah, you bend him in half backwards, and it, it works. It's yeah, now, pretty astounding. I, and I'm doing this from memory, but I remember then, when Troll... Then you, plug, then you plug the combiner hand on top um, and make him a hunchback, and it's great. Don, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. It sounds like Chris has lagged. No. Yeah. No, uh, I remember when the Orden, the Troll came out, the, their blot, that was such a really phenomenal piece. 
And I'm seeing just a few small parallels between some of the transformation in from that figure in this blot here. Of course, it's, 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 it's a nose monster. Some things are going to be similar anyway. But it's nice to see that they pull off some, some similar tricks, like the middle claw folding out when you rotate the hand in. So that way you've got all three claws, but it's not like Ripper Snapper where they're permanently fixed like Wolverines. Yeah. You know, you, you can actually just turn the hand in and get your three claws. So I am a lot happier with Abominus than I would say Minasaur when I when when, when I got Combiner Wars Minasaur. Well, so I'm I mean, definitely say a lot what you were. Yeah, say what you were about you will about Hunger's you know beast mode, but that that makes the best torso. Yeah. I mean the, oh, the silver bolt the silver bolt scatter shot Hunger always makes the best torso. So overall, and as I, a combiner, I am ecstatic with Abominus. And I love the way the chest and the head and all this on him just kind of it's it, the rest of the combiners kind of had had the same thing. But I think them ditching the companion piece across the front and just having this chest piece collapse onto itself really helps the look of the figure without having a sixth Legends class stuck on there somewhere. Well, that mold never had that. It just had the fold-over chest yeah, attached yeah. to the legs. Anybody else get anything? I did. <laughs> Go ahead. I got... Uh, Hunger and Alita One, which I found at Walmart, they started very lightly hitting. Um, and the reason I got this is I'm scared I'm never gonna get the Wave Two Voyagers that I ordered. So this was like a backup just in case they never come in. And I also have to stay away from Toys R Us because with their clearance sales being at about fifty or sixty percent. Uh, it's very dangerous. <laughs> I picked up, I picked up a blue uh, morpher, the blue ranger morpher, and uh, picked up a bunch of other things because I was gonna start dynamicsing some things to buy, like maybe a large scale Unicron. So I have to stay out of Toys R Us. Mm. Well, I, well, I, I don't, I, I don't know, Doc Ash. You've got enough light in that room right now, so you really don't need the lamp. Yeah, uh, yeah, but there will be a large scale Unicron somehow. I can feel it. Yeah, maybe, maybe anything probably else? eventually. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, uh, that's all I can think of. Rob. Uh, okay. Um, first up, uh, thanks to uh, Spidey Wing on Twitter who uh, picked me up the uh, Robot Spirits Gypsy Avenger and the uh, Gundam Assault Kingdom Build Burning Gundam. Uh, oh, nice. Both of which are really nice. Uh, build Burning is maybe two inches tall. Got really great articulation for that size. It's a, and it comes with the stand, as a lot of those did. It's a really nice figure. Um, Gypsy Avenger um, reminds me of the Gundam figures I used to collect. The best aspects of, the, of that engineering and also just some of the... Uh, you know, little quirks that used to come along with the best aspects of that engineering. It has three ball joints in the hip. And in the classic Bandai fashion, it also does not have enough tension on any of those to make some poses very easy to do. So just, it's it's a really elaborate and high quality figure, and I am really happy with it. Thank you, Spidey. And then the other thing I got this week is, um, uh, neither... Chris or I were able to get a copy of Unicron number zero on, on free comic book day. So, uh, Alex Milne actually asked us on Twitter if we were going to review it. And we said, if we can get a copy, sure. So Alex was not only nice enough as to send me a copy. He sent me a signed copy with a sketch on the cover and a separate Bumblebee sketch with it. Nice. So so, Alex, thank you very much. Yeah, Thank Um, you, Alex. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris awesome. is the one who's uh, who's going to be doing the review, but I I really did enjoy the comic. A- Alex has obviously poured his heart into that. So yeah, when Unicron comes out in July, everybody check that out because he is really proud of that and, and deservedly so. Yeah, absolutely. That is awesome. Yeah that 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 made my week. That was just such <laughs> a great thing to get. Hell, that'd make my week. <laughs> I got kids yeah, this so you week. Were right, you were right on Twitter a few minutes ago. 
Uh-huh. That is cooler than Terracons. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's like the second piece of original art of any kind I, I own in the world. It's it's great. That is awesome. Uh, John, we were just joined by John. Uh, did you get anything? Um, no. I think I'll get my Street Fighter stuff tomorrow. So, so. I get mine. I was going it, to. It's in Charlotte. It's 20 minutes from my house. Uh-huh. But my. My delivery date slipped from Saturday to Monday, so yeah, it's awesome. crazy. Hey, uh, so uh, the 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 shirt store looks awesome. Thanks, man. Shirtsickle dot com slash uh, tf radio tf radio dot net slash shirts. Yeah, yeah, get you some. Yeah, hey, uh, put so, some clothes on for God's sake. Yeah, I was. Uh, t- you might as well do it at, with our shirt in the chat at tf radio dot net slash live every Wednesday, uh, seven thirty Eastern time. Uh, I'm talking to Sean uh, Hamilton in there, and we're trying to figure out a way to get a, a Don shirt. General idea is, my idea is like the, the chest, yes, the chest would be like the mustache, and then like but like between like the pecs would be like uh, Don's nose, then like the glasses, or maybe, I don't know. Can we just have Massey attacking him on the shirt? Yeah, can we do like a? I can do like a Massey attack in the vein of like a 1950s alien invasion movie poster. That would be like awesome. Massey attacks. <laughs> Could we have one with Dawn attacking like Diecast? That would be great. Hey, so uh, you said you got to sell more shirts. So to get more designs, we have to sell more shirts, right? Yeah. Once we yeah once we sell a certain number, I'm not going to say because I know how this works. I'm going to motivate you guys. But if we sell quote unquote enough, we can add. We'll add. Um, a lot more designs so awesome uh, anyway but uh you know uh buy what you like there's eight shirts right now at shirtsicle.com slash tf radio no don't buy what you like i'm buy sure you'll one of each i'm sure you'll find well you'll like them all uh i'm sure i'm sure you'll find something for you uh your immediate and extended family uh, so at some point sure we'll add uh, if you support us we'll support you we can add uh, lots of uh additional cool designs including yes uh maybe that's our stretch goal if you guys just keep buying shirts at some point yes i promise you a uh a massey a 1950s attack. style massey attacks nice uh, shirt cool awesome sweet okay so um i wasn't on last week so i didn't get to mention i got a couple of the uh creo um whatever the hell they're called the ones that transform i <laughs> i got uh, grimlock and shockwave so I found those at Dollar General. I've never, ever seen those So uh, in person. So I finally got those. They also had, I think, Cliff Jumper, but I didn't want him. Because Aren't they made like two years ago? Yes. How are they just showing up now? It's Dollar General. I don't know. Uh-huh. That's Those are showing up at my Dollar General now, and there is absolutely no sign of any of the authentics whatsoever. So speaking of, I got the small, like $6, $5 price point. Um... Bumblebee, it's crap. Uh, Starscream, <laughs> crap. crap. Uh, Optimus Prime, guess what? Crap. 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 And the $10 price point Optimus Prime, which is, it's not a scaled up version of that other toy, and that's not a scaled down version of this, but this is mega crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger crap. Yeah, I mean, like, I, they're garbage. I, I said it before. They're they're garbage. Gar- it's like it's, uh, yeah, it's garbage. Sorry. I mean, I love I love me some Hasbro and all, but um, yeah, I'm not a fan of these. Uh, I got Alita One and Hunger, but I've not had a chance to open them yet. So uh, I may Where'd never. Where'd you get them at? Uh, they were in my pile of loot at Big, at Big Bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, Hopefully, before the next show, I'll have uh, uh, the Street Fighter figures. So, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay. So, uh, that's it. Nobody got anything else? Okay. Uh, So, this week in history, 2011, seven years ago. The first day of BotCon 2011. And that's what? One of two... BotCon's three, BotCon's in the last 10 years that I missed. It, oh, yeah. It was in like Pasadena or California for like two or three years because I remember I kept saying, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Oh, it's in California. How yeah. many did you get to go to? Two? 
two, I think. Okay. I, w- I went to the last two. And uh, for those of, you, those of you who don't remember, this was the year that we got the Stunticon job with the uh, animated Stunticons, which I thought wound up being a really nice set. That was a popular one, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really, you know, it, it just, of course, everyone remembers that big brouhaha about which mold to use for Motormaster. And you had people saying, use the Optimus, no, use the Retgar. It was just a big, massive <laughs> oh, yeah. thing thing, thing at the time. Oh, yeah. But it, it wound up being a really nice set. I mean, it's just, I mean, it, it just shows how good, I mean, those animated molds, they are kind of limited on what you can pull off. You know, as far as other characters, but they wound up being really, really good looking. Like Dead End, Dead End, I don't think had any from from animated jazz had nothing new on him except paint, but he looked like a completely different character, which worked out well. So, Don, what was your favorite part of that botcon? Uh, probably the script reading. That was a that was a lot of fun. Because it, it was uh, kind of like a, a companion piece to the comic. So that was kind of nice. And whatever I found in the dealer room that year. Whatever that might have, whatever that might have been. Yeah, I guess at some point they just run together. <laughs> yeah, it's, in, in retrospect, it's hard. Yeah, true. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so... so this, I actually have been interested in talking about this since my Facebook and Twitter feeds have been covered up with this. Uh, Transformers Bumblebee, the movie, teaser trailer, uh, posted on the internet. For the internet at large, the day Bumblebee, tr- uh, the day the Bumblebee trailer dropped was the most important day of their lives. For Melvar, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Did you watch it, Melvar? I actually did watch it. <clears throat> All right. What did you think? Okay, so a bit of a surprise. I actually like the Bumblebee design. I think the the robot design in this is a vast improvement over anything we've seen oh, previously. Yes. Yes. That being said, um, <laughs> you know, I know people are excited about this, but how many times have we been burned in the past by this? You can you can get a new director, but it's still paramount. I mean, their track record, especially over the past couple years, is not good. So, I mean, I I don't I'm I'm tired of beating up on these movies, so I'm not going to run it into the ground. I'm just I'm not going to watch it because I haven't seen enough yet to get me excited for it. I know we've had bad movies in the past. My hopes for improvement are not high, so I mean it just hasn't done enough to get me excited. But so I saw so many people on my feed saying, "Well, this is just uh, they've gone too far, gone too far." G one, like I don't see G one in this at all, other than like some you know a couple of just a little bit of uh, a touch here and there, like colors and stuff. It just right. Uh, it just and I mean I mean. It- it's set in the eighties and they're using the cars that were around in the eighties, which was a VW bug. Yeah. I mean, and I mean, it's, it's, it's by default G one because G one was the eighties. So yeah. you're, you're kind of like, unless you had some kind of issue and you used a car that wasn't the eighties and then it wouldn't fit the motif of the time period. So you, you're kind of stuck using vehicles from that time period. If you're set in that time period, I mean, now, I don't think it's nostalgia. Uh, at least for me, I would like to think I'm not seeing. I'm not saying, "Oh, this is better because it's G1," or "This is better because it's nostalgia." I'm not. I'm just saying these designs, actually, like Matt said, they're tighter. They look better. They they actually look like robots in disguise, and you can see the disguise that you know. Everything everything fits better, I guess. It, look, it look, looks like look, a, a robot with car parts on it, not a robot made of car parts. It's, I mean, that's and it. and that's, the movies in general went from these horrible designs in the first couple to where they look pretty darn nice by the last couple. 
Like, yeah. you know, the movie designs, I hated them to begin with, but they refined and refined and refined until they're halfway decent. They're pretty good. No, and, this, this is still the first movie design that I've ever cared for. So, but like the Remeda designs, which I love, would look terrible, terrible in a movie. So, uh, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you'd, have to, you'd have to dress them up a whole lot, too. But actually. their people was like, well, I, I just want the G1 in the movie. Why? But, like, this this design that it's fine. you're showing, you're, yeah, you're showing it on the screen right now. It's Looks not good. G1. It's not G1. It It's a VW bug. That's the only thing G1 about it. Yeah. They've basically just taken those car parts and mapped them over the Camaro body bumblebee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like Don said, just tightened everything up a little bit. There's not as much exposed uh, machinery and wires, which. Well, the Seeker has a lot of exposed machinery. Well, that's yeah. also a mid transformation shot. The crap so I out think... of me anyway. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, it is a tremendous vulnerability. I mean, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, but, but I'm in. like, what? If you're a warring robot race, why would you have your, you know, essential parts exposed? Mm-hmm. You know, might might, might want to cover and that I, up. And I, with some armor. And I have to say, sand. seeing Starscream was something of a shock. Or whatever it is, people are some yeah. people are speculating it's not Starscream. Some people are saying Ramjet. Yes, because they claim oh, I can that see somebody... Ramjet on those colors. Yeah, yeah, I can too. Yeah, somebody said they went to us. Uh, I think it was part of the uh, like preview at Cannes, and they and they had uh, they said it was Ramjet at, the, at uh, that time. So okay, like, I can see that. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, you know, that that is the most Starscream looking Ramjet I've ever yeah. seen. If so, but it wouldn't yeah. it wouldn't be the first time that a movie design didn't look like what I expected it yeah. to. So you know. Right. But yeah, but I, I will say after you're done. Yeah, I was, gonna say, I was gonna say, like I said on Twitter to you, Rob, I, I'm I'm a hundred percent more interested in the toys now if they oh yeah can pull off mm-hmm. what we're seeing now as compared to have just wrote off movie. I'll buy that Bumblebee pretty much. Oh yeah, if it lo- if if they can pull that off in toy form because we've seen that they can pull off like animated. The toys looked like the show. They pulled that. No matter what you can say about animated, they were show accurate. So if they if they can achieve that level of transference from movie to toy shelf, and look that tight, I'll definitely be getting a few more Bumblebee figures than I planned. Yeah, I don't know if I would buy like a movie masterpiece of that Bumblebee, but like a nice deluxe, sure. Oh yeah, I said this on Twitter uh, at Diecast too. The first thing I thought when I saw the trailer was, "Oh no, Bumblebee has visible head syndrome." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, she goes underneath the bottom of the car, and there's. But the I head, mean, just like, it's really, it's really not visible head syndrome because you have to crawl underneath into the car, the car to yeah. find it. So it's really, you know, visible by a a, a slim stretch of the imagination. <laughs> well, if anybody put them on a lift, I mean, he's kind of. What yeah. do you do when you you take a look at a toy? You turn it you turn it upside down. And you're like, "There's all the robot parts." Hey, uh-huh. so uh, the head. So when it when it comes to the trailer itself, I'm not taking anything from it because there have been Michael it's a Bay teaser. Yeah, there have been Michael yeah. Bay trailers, full trailers. That I thought, man, this looks good. Then I went to go see the movie, and I was wrong. So yeah, mm-hmm. like the thing I was saying on Twitter after on Tuesday, I guess after this dropped, um, like. They need to be really careful now and ideally not show anything except what they've already shown in this trailer for all the other trailers because, like, they've got everyone fooled right now. No, maybe, not, not, maybe, maybe not. That not whole everyone. Opening weekend. Maybe not fooled. Uh, it could be good. It really could be. We I don't just, know. I just, I'm assuming the worst case scenario here because that's what I do. Yeah. But, like, they've got people hooked right now. Yeah. They need to just kind of string that along until December. Until that opening weekend, and then justify their existence. Yeah, because they could they could screw this up so bad by having a wrong cut trailer. With with the last movie, uh, the last night that they beat us over the head with trailers. They did that with Age of Extinction too. Yeah, but the last night was even worse. I know because I posted most of them to T formers. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, uh, but you know it uh, it could be good. I'm not going to judge. Because Michael Bay's not directing it. Yeah, I, yeah that's it, it the only was, reason I have hope. Yeah, my 
my thought is that, that that trailer was expertly cut to give us the impression that whoever is directing this movie has some grasp of human emotions. Apparently, the director is very competent, from what I understand. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean... He has well, a good I'll put it, degree. Yeah, I'll put it this way. Uh, he directed an animated feature called Kubo and the Two Strings that came out a couple of years ago. My father, who hates everything, liked it. So, that's, you know, that's a decent recommendation i would say yeah but again my fear is paramount uh-huh yeah for you know trying to force a formula onto this movie you know mm-hmm. put this in put this in this will sell toys marvel movies are formulaic yeah. and they're fun yeah they sure but now, yeah, yeah but they're not made by paramount that's true yes. <laughs> now what now one thing i did see on twitter and someone brought this up is that and again i would give credit to whoever i read it but i just don't remember right now what if they're, they've decided, even though the Bumblebee movie is the last of the current movie cycle, what if they've decided that if they see the reaction to this trailer, or maybe the what they're doing is do it. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying, <laughs> what if they decided to tweak the ending to this wind Transformers being, number four. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, Brian, is... Decepticons what if win. The, <laughs> what if this turns out to be Flashpoint, which basically reboots the movie universe, and what would have been the last God, movie Flashpoint. is the start of the new? What if huh? that's the plan? That I, 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 what, I, what I, if I movies already for... done? Please don't compare these to the new Fifty Two. No, <laughs> no, 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 just I, 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 okay, that are, breaks my brain. I, I expect they are probably but banking I'm, on this being something that they could jump off of to build whatever they want to do after this that they don't want to pick back up after the last night. Like it could still it could be a prequel to that, but it could also be a jumping off point to the new thing and just kinda of work as both depending how you want to look like at X-Men it. Like X Men first class. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I just so saw they'll that screw mentioned. up the timeline even worse? Yeah. How probably. could they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, th- that's true. How could you screw up the timeline even worse than X Men First I'm, Class? I mean, or Transformers. I mean, the, the worst you can do is insert another earliest point in history in which the Transformers had contact with Earth. They can't get much earlier. Uh huh. Um, I mean, on the one hand, they kind of already had contact with the ancient Egyptians because that one MacGuffin was in a pyramid. Yeah. So. And before that, they had contact with the dinosaurs. So, I mean... Well, I'm just it, thinking human civilization, though. Yeah, I'm just thinking contact with Earth in general. And it's like, okay, yeah, that's, you know... Have we had the Transformers be responsible for life on Earth yet? Oh, God, that um, would be great. Well, have, no, but we probably have had the Transformers be responsible for life could be sacrificed for peace on Earth. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so, maybe... So, let's see here. If Fox were to buy the rights to the Transformers franchise. Megan Fox? No, Fox. If Fox were to buy the rights to the Transformers franchise, and then we do this time-hopping thing, we could finally get that Transformers versus MASH story that I've always wanted to see. I don't think Fox is going to be buying any more properties. I'm just talking well, about Transformers versus same. MASH. That's all I'm talking about. I just had to get there from here. So, um, so yeah. Uh, it certainly, certainly looks like a thing. People are excited. I enjoyed the trailer, which is more than I can say about the trailers for the last two movies on the whole. I, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Was it Dark Knight that, uh, not Dark Knight, Dark of the Moon, where we saw the trailer, then it will actually, <laughs> and like, hey, this may be the good Transformers movie. I don't recall it that way, but, you know. One of them it think, was really, really, uh, what's a good way of saying, deceptive. I think after Revenge... Well, the Dark of the Moon trailers were deceptive because they were painting Shockwave as being the actual villain character for the movie, which was in no way, shape, or form the case. Yeah. I just think after Revenge of the Fallen, we were all just so hopeful for the next one to not be that again, you know? Yeah, I wanted that again. And in that way, it was a little bit deceptive. <laughs> so in the chat, our pal Ernest Frazier says, it won't be a reboot, you guys. You are one thousand percent correct, but we got to let Don yeah. get his Don insights out because well, people love the Don well, insights. No, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, wouldn't that wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a really cool thing to go there thinking this is the last movie, 
and they wind up using it to reboot the universe. I'm just saying, so, what if that's the plan all the whole time? I think what I, I think what I want out of the Bumblebee movie is at the end in the post credit scene, there is some laboratory somewhere where someone salvaged like bits and pieces of Transformers technology. And, like, this robot wakes up on a table, its eyes glow, and then just, it goes to a black screen, and the the title across it is, you know, Winter 2019, Transformers, Bot. Yes! Yes! Or it's actually or it's Nightbird, you know. Wow. Nah. You, could, you could combine Bot and Nightbird into one story, basically. One character! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not they're one basically, character, They're basically but, the like, same thing. Yeah, they are. It's just one was made by Dr. <laughs> Fujiyama, the famous scientist, yeah. and the other one was made by for science high school. Students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Okay, so uh, <laughs> now that we the obligatory conversations out of the way, uh, I thought this was the most interesting thing, and I think Chris shared this to um, Twitter last week about the Australian release of Masterpiece Shadow Panther. Shadow Panther uh, yeah. it was canceled, <laughs> and there's not. A refund being offered. Yeah, Toys R Us in Australia is keeping your money as they go out of business. <laughs> I, I, think, I think they're offering. I think they're offering credit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, for as long as they have inventory on their online website, you can select an equivalent amount of inventory from their online website uh, if you want to go that way. If that's not acceptable to you, which I think would be perfectly understandable if it's not, your options are to either basically um, get sent a form you can fill in. And uh, essentially become one of their creditors waiting for money back out of the business as it goes through bankruptcy. Oh, or you can file a dispute with your bank. Yeah. And <laughs> I think I just filed a dispute, dispute with my bank. With the bank yeah. is the best, uh, the best option. Yeah, that's the that's the most direct option. And the email they sent out about this says, most likely in that case, you will just get your money back. <sighs> winning. Winning, winning. I mean... Australians versus creditors. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, it was a bad move in the first place to, in February, do uh, the pre order cycle for a toy that's not coming out till October. Yeah. Like, even without the possibility that the business was going to go under in that intermediate point, because uh, I don't think we really had an indication of Toys R Us Australia being in that situation when those pre orders launched. So, like, even in the best of circumstances, a pre-order uh, eight months before the release time frame is just... I don't think that's a good idea. We do that all the wrong. time with third party. I don't think that's a good idea either, because even more can go wrong like there. Shadow Panther. So here's the way to fix it. They should just send out Shadow Panther, like the ha top half. And if they are still in business after, they can send out the bottom half. Yeah, and then Shadow just, Panther Part A. Yeah, and you just put it together. And then, yeah, so. <sighs> okay. Hey, so uh, I thought this was interesting. Um, Takartomi's November releases. Uh, I didn't know about this. Uh, I must have missed it, unless this is brand new. Uh, an Encore Air Attack Optimus Primal. The that pictures are new today. Um, there was um, an early listing leak we got off of Facebook, like we tend to do about a week before the pictures come out. Um, but I don't th it didn't really get a whole lot of attention because we weren't sure what to make of it because it was being translated a few different ways. Yeah. So, Don, you hate Beast Machines, but what about this toy? I'm not paying that for that when I got the op when I got the uh, Primal Prime coloration for $43.08. But this looks better than Amazon. Oh, yeah. oh well, my God. It doesn't look as good. I have the original one too from back in the day. So be careful yeah, with that I'm though, because some of that brown plastic is apparently decaying at this point. Oh, is yeah. it? Oh. Yep, it is a gold yeah, plastic syndrome it's, victim. It's How much is this? Still not worth the hundred and ninety dollars. How much? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Oh, well, sorry, everybody's talking at once and out of sync. So yeah, this, like, is, this is. Sorry. Yeah, this is about the you know the going rate for a large scale toy from the early two thousands, three to four times the original price. Oh dear God, that's terrible! Four times the original price. Yeah. This is interesting well, that, though because this toy, when it originally came out, it had a USA edition in Japan, but not an actual direct release. Um, when Takara did Beast Machines as Beast Wars Returns, they used Blast Punch Optimus Primal as their Optimus Primal figure for that line. 
So this is the first like direct Japanese release of this toy, even though they're calling it an encore now. So, so how do I we mean, think this is going to fare as opposed to the recent uh, car robots? It's not fire convoy. It's, it's because be it's, just... yeah, it seems that that mold with today's uh, materials didn't work so well together. I think because this toy is so much simpler than what those two have to do together, it's got a better chance. Like design and production issues are not going to stack up quite the same way where it's going to be like glaring problem on glaring problem on glaring problem. Um, it may, it's probably not going to be as good as the original one is. And that's just a reality of where the manufacturing is at today. But like, I don't think it's going to be the disaster that encore Godfire convoy was. It's such a shame. Cause you think the manufacturing today should be better than it was you know well and... provided uh, provided uh, a corresponding budget yes yeah that's the trick <laughs> but i also <laughs> want to say it i love the new tabbing system to flip through the photos on t-formers oh my yeah. god oh, yeah. Isn't that so, so, much, faster? Great. so yeah. much faster so much easier to look at photos um but honestly i wouldn't spend 200 dollars on this guy Why it, I, I would, would rather Who i would, would rather Buy the red version. I'd of rather this buy on the, Amazon for like I'd, four three. Yeah, I'd rather buy the Godfire Convoy set and take my chance with the QC. If I if I if I if I had to spend two hundred dollars on something between those two, I mean the toys the toys not worth two hundred dollars. It's nice, but it's nowhere even close to it's that. It's a really nice forty or fifty dollar toy, but yeah, not two hundred. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like, it's yeah, like no, cause, no. That's actually a good point. That platinum one, the red and blue one, when that came out, I think that was over a hundred dollars. So, like that, yeah, it is like Rob says, just really expensive now to produce those molds from you know fifteen twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it's, it's it's sort of like they looked at okay, you're going to bring back Cybertron Primus and charge one hundred and fifty dollars. Hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. So, um. The G1 Hot Rod Walmart reissue is uh, being distributed right now, so hopefully you'll find it. We have yeah, photos of it. Picture, yeah, the picture we have in this article is from a Japanese retailer, um, but I mean, it is in the system making its way out from the production facilities. Um, I thought this was actually interesting because it shows that they're being shipped in cases of six, which we had no information about that before. Somebody else pointed out on Twitter, though, I don't know who it was off the top of my head. Um, it looks like they put the, the trays in backwards. Yes, it sure does. The windows are. It yeah. sure does. <laughs> so that's a little bit oops. It's like bot it's like people from Brian Savage's <laughs> church putting in stuff. <laughs> okay, so it's pretty cool. Uh, there is a, I guess, a sale, a deal, 20% off new Transformers at Hasbro Toy Shop. If only they had some. If only <laughs> they had them. The, if you uh, want those, the first wave of movie uh, studio figures, you can get them. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's not a bad idea. The code the is family first, exclamation mark. Uh, and uh, if you spend forty nine bucks or more U.S. dollars, it's uh, free shipping. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. What else we got going on? Uh, let's see here. Transformers Generations. Shoot it's not in the show notes. I don't want to talk about it. Transformers <laughs> Generations Special Edition Repugnus. Uh, new details revealed. Um, so, Chris, you he wrote a the story. Master. Yeah. Yes. What? What yeah, can you tell um, us? So, like, we've been having a debate since we first found out about this, whether it's, like, is this going to be a third retooled Double Cross, or is it going to be, like, Ripper Snapper or something retooled? It comes with a Titan Master, according to this Amazon listing, which makes me really think we're getting that third Double Cross retool, and all three Monster Bots are going to be the same body type, which I'm totally okay with. Yeah. Um, a few months ago when we talked about this the last time, I was saying, like, they don't have to go too far from what they did with Grotusk in terms of retooling to get a repugnance out of it that actually works. Um, And I think I linked back to my original theory from the T-Formers article, but like there's even a battle beast in repugnance colors, basically that they could recolor Fengal into. Oh yeah. Um, So like it all, it really does all just kind of fit together. Um, And then there was details about the, um, 
Prime Master, it's going to come with two, which I think was going to be a recolor of Octopunch. I don't actually remember that off the top of my head since I wrote this, I think, last mm-hmm. Thursday. Uh, <laughs> it's been a busy week since then. But um, based on this and updates to the Blast Off listing on Amazon, uh, with more details being filled in, it looks like these could be coming sometime in the near future. And I'm thinking we might be looking at a stealth launch uh, to coincide with SDCC, like we had Grotesque go yeah. with New York Comic Con last fall. Man, I was in a really awesome Chinese buffet when that news hit, and I had <laughs> okay, barely so had internet. What? Okay, so you have these, you have awesome Chinese buffets you go to. Why do you never take us to them when we visit? Well, I w- that was an hour and a half away from my house at that point. No! <laughs> we when, haven't traveled. When you, visited, when you visited here, we didn't go to a bad restaurant, did we? We didn't go to a Chinese restaurant either, though. Yeah. Now, when, now, when we are out at a convention or something, we have very bad luck. Got that one in well, Atlanta. Uh, we, we did go to that restaurant where he didn't get his food, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. It's yeah, a good restaurant, that, but damn, that's well. I wouldn't know, would yeah. I? So uh, that, that weekend, man, like I didn't get my food. You beamed me in the head with an ottoman. <laughs> I got a <laughs> that was over two hundred dollars on the way there. Yeah, like that was just oh, and Diecast was being a total asshole. Like that was just the <laughs> worst time, man. <laughs> okay, so we will not have a Radio Free CyberCon too. I didn't no. say that. I'm just saying that one was terrible. Okay. Well, the first one, <laughs> that, you know. Hey, yeah, Golden yeah. Corral, There's always though, some that, kinks to work out. For that's me. true. That, was, that <sighs> Golden Corral was great, though. It was. Yeah, we go. had it at the right time. Uh, so, uh, what did, so Rob posted this. Toilet Troop, Techie Team, uh, new codename <laughs> okay. Transformers listing hits Amazon. What's your theory? Okay, my theory is uh, we got four listings for, yeah, Toilet Troop, Techie Team, Greaser Gang, and Jock Squad, priced ten to fifteen dollars each. My theory is we had gotten a. There had been a rumor previously that the, the Legends class and the uh, Master class below it were going to be replaced for War for Cybertron with Micro Masters and Battle Masters. My theory is that we're not that we're not specifically getting you know single MicroMasters at the Legends thing or at the Legends price point, and we're not getting MicroMasters with the Battle Station, which would be the you know natural thing to believe yeah. after looking at the Prime Masters and uh, Titan Masters. We might be getting MicroMaster patrols. Yeah, that makes perfect you know, sense. As the team ma- naturally moves on to try and recreate 1988 after the previous you know attempt to recreate 1987 so yeah so i'm kind of thinking that we might be moving up from a five and ten dollar price point to a ten and fifteen dollar price point of you know micro master patrols with you know maybe you know play sets or maybe just you know two packs and three packs depending that makes depressing sense since the srp for deluxe is supposed to be going up to 20 Uh uh-huh and I hate to say it, I didn't put together the recreating 1988 part until I said it out loud, but damn it, that sounds exactly like what this team would do. Yeah, you're right. And I hate that. So here's the thing about uh, MicroMasters. Yeah, everybody loves MicroMasters, I guess. But I just, in context of, in a post-World Smallest Transformers, you know, <laughs> thing, I, I don't get MicroMasters because they're actually about the size of... Mini cons are a little bigger. Uh, they're not that small anymore. And yeah. e- even back then, like I guess th- they were trying to compete against Galoob's micro machines. They're like five times bigger than a micro machine. Mm-hmm. It's just well, such a weird line. I was about to say at the, at this point with you know what these toys cost for what you get they might end up being the smallest possible transformers again i mean yeah we keep talking about how these toys are getting hollow and i mean making a whole bunch of them smaller is saved on materials that's that's true doesn't this get better and better the more we talk about it everything gets better the more we talk about it especially when me and matt are here yeah i would i would actually i would actually love for 
this war for Cybertron line is going to have to be something really freaking special. Yeah, I would love. I'll buy a Tetra jet, and I think that's about all I can oh, say in advance. I, I would love for Takara to revisit the world's smallest Transformers. I thought that was yes. awesome, and they are relatively they're coveted, so they go for more than they're worth. Substantially more than the worth, um, and they were and knocked off the high side, end. Yes. Oh yeah, and I, like I was going to say, there was a side business for years of um, characters that didn't get officially world smallest transformers, oh, yeah. like the Dinobots. Dinobots. Yeah, Dinobots six shot. I think somebody did a shockwave, maybe. Um, mm-hmm. Like you know, a lot of that stuff was filled in unofficially. That's how much people were into that at the time. There, there is an unofficial. There's like a variety of unofficial versions of the Starscream mold to give you pretty much every uh, seeker you could imagine. <laughs> uh, somebody actually did. One of the people who knocked off the Mini Optimus Prime act, I believe, actually did an Ultra Magnus trailer for it. Um, there and there is also a G2 Optimus Prime variant. There are there I- are a wealth of really interesting knockoffs of these things, which I suspect might be why Takara stop doing them but at the same time i that you know again if i was going to uh, collect weird and interesting things that you know the infinite world's smallest transformers variations would probably be high on my list yeah uh let's see here what else do we have going on uh just in pass and eh, i'll mention it so apparently barricade's going to be in bumblebee the movie uh the voice actor uh jess harnell uh made some comments about it. I don't know anything more than that, but that's something, that's I guess. That's pretty much all we got. Yeah. Uh, so there's a new Optimus Prime classic scale statue that Don is ecstatic about that he shared with us yesterday. Or but someday. Don, it's not even a lamp. <laughs> but Don I loves this. I don't care. This is awesome. I love it's, this. It's it, not it, like, awesome. I, like I said, well, it's pretty good. Well, I like to it. Me, to me, it is it's because it looks, it, it looks like, they're like I said before, they're picking up from the cartoon where he driving towards the screen and transforms, it's just kind of like that same kind of progression of motion. Does it have a basketball? And I just, I just. It looks hmm. like he's running to me. It's not. That's what he's doing. He's that's running. the hope. That's the hope. That's have you ever watched the Transformers? Yeah. Well, running is like driving, <laughs> but with legs. That's what Optimus so. Prime did in the <laughs> intro. Toward, I, toward I was, you. Without, I was about to say, Di- outro, Diecast does not thing. strike me as a guy who, who reads the credits. Yeah, you know, I think you're right about that. Yeah. You you don't yeah, do you, General? It needs no, basketball. I, I I'm I'm one of those guys who always had to stick around and see who made the stuff. So yeah, I remember that credit <laughs> sequence. Yeah, I just I just think it looks great. I mean, to me, it it's just it's it's in motion. It looks great. It's got the animation colors. I just, I just think it's a really nice piece, and I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to getting it. So they could, they could have the arms where they're both going up, and one hand could have a basketball in it, and mm. then I would be happy. Is it going to be like eight hundred dollars? No, like a hundred something. I'd buy that okay. with a basketball. What, Chris? I said, Brian, compute quickly. Yes. Uh, so uh, mm-hmm. let's see here. Uh, bu- 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 uh, Ocular Max Helion Masterpiece Style Unofficial Cliff Jumper. Um. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. That's Haven't when we seen this already. Uh, we talked about it in post show last week. I think we got the pictures of it like after a little bit after we stopped recording. So, so we we've done this before. There le- there's no shortage of third party cliff jumpers coming our way. But this is a good uh-huh. one. Yeah, this is a nice looking one. Yeah. I can't tell. This if is my I mastermind. Like- yeah, I can't tell if I like this one or the X Transbots one. This one, this one will probably be a nicer <laughs> toy. But yeah, so I, I, I don't I'm ag- know. I'm against buying third party toys, third party masterpiece where I think ha- or Takara, pardon me, is going to produce the character anytime soon. That seems I, unlikely here. It seems very unlikely here. So, uh, and I like Ocular Max. I think they do great stuff. So I'll probably buy this. I think it looks well, awesome. I mean, in a world where Takara oh. is given one chance, yeah, that's cool. Isn't it? Yeah. In a world where Takara is given one chance to do a Porsche body type, they're not going to pick Cliff Jumper. They're going to pick Jazz. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is great. Well, maybe that. Maybe and that's even if taking... they could get Cliff Jumper, everybody would be mad because they couldn't make it super deformed. Right. 
Now, to be fair, Maybe. this one is... Sorry, Don. To be fair, this Don's one's not lagged. super deformed either, but it's kind of between realistic yeah. and super deformed style, so it's hitting both buttons. Don, please proceed. No, I was going to say, what if maybe that's what's taking so long to get Jazz is they're trying to get both Jazz and Cliff Jumper rights at the same time. That's what's taking, that's why we haven't got a Jazz yet. It's possible, and I mean, if they're trying to negotiate to be able to do a Cliff Jumper with the proper proportions, that that could complicate the negotiations. That that could definitely complicate the negotiation. It's like, so you want it to be like the penny cars or the penny racers? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 well, no. They I'm, didn't I'm, do I'm, that with I'm, Bumble. No, they I'm didn't. Not, do I'm it just with Cliff Jumper. Yeah. Well, true. I, I would just, I, but I just, I, I had forgotten they were both owned by the same parent company, um, and I just thought that maybe that's why they're taking so long to get the jazz license. They're trying to get Cliff Jumper as well. You know, just a, it's just a thought I had when I realized that. Hey, uh, so guess what? Thank you, Amazon. If you need toilet paper, toothpaste, uh, not a shirt because you can get that at tfradio.net slash shirts, or pants, or um, a bathtub. We have RFC pants. We should. Mm-hmm. Are they John, parachute can you pants? work on that for us? That would be awesome. Yeah, the RFC Headmaster Don parachute pants. Yes. But... um. <laughs> And we need an RFC jean jacket to go with it. But like, oh yeah. But like, uh, since since the kids are here, I have left my house very infrequently, so I've been ordering more and more stuff through Amazon. I ordered. I think God, this was an awesome. This was weird. So the girls were arguing over who got access to a coloring book two nights ago. They were like, "I want a color. I want a color. No, I want a color." You know, so they they have different coloring books, but they wanted the same one. So. Channeling the wisdom of Solomon, I went to tfradio.net slash Amazon and bought them two of the same book. So they would stop fighting. But Solomon didn't have Amazon. Now, now, just to prepare yourself, the next argument will be about one of them coloring in the other's book. No, no, the argument where I was going, what happened is I Mm -hmm. gave them the books, they started arguing. Because they were arguing the same page and coloring it the same way. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand children. Yeah, yeah. Like but, I said, I'm pretty sure the next one is go- is going to be you know, one of them colors in the other's book. That's where yeah. that's going. Uh, Just probably. Uh, but, 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 uh, you can get whatever you want to. Uh, Don had me update his Massey Attack wish list at tfradio.net slash Massey Attack. Uh, so if you want to get Don yeah. something, Don is right there, tfradio.net slash Massey Attack, because yeah. Don could use your help. Yeah. And, I, and I'll admit, what I, I had Brian add a little, it was a little selfish, but, uh, you know, one of the things I remember fondly from the 90s is the X-Men cartoon, because it's the only way I can enjoy X-Men, because it wasn't so convoluted that I couldn't follow what was going on. Really? And there's a book that, yeah, I, yeah, I never, yeah. I tried reading X Men for a short period of time before giving it up. As far as the comics go, I just didn't care. But I love the TV series, and there's there's a book out now that's about how how the series was made, episode guide, you know, that we've been seeing lately, and it's like and it's titled previously on X Men. So I, I love it for the title alone. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, so that's awesome. So uh, during what I, I was out last week, but I was listening to the show. Chris had, had mentioned before, and he mentioned it again last week, that he wanted me to compile a listing of like all of our Amazon short links, or just specifically to the ones to the wish list that we have in place. Because I went ahead and pulled tfradio.net slash Chris list, which is Chris's Amazon wish list, and I made one for Rob, which is tfradio.net slash Clay list. I like that. I like that. So uh, those guys. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a random selection of clays. Um, you know, yeah. at different intervals, a new one is cycled in front of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. but just wanted to mention that because I know people have been asking about it. So uh, if, you wanna, you, if you want to help them out, there you go. Uh, let's see here. What do we got going on on T-Formers this week, Rob? Okay. I was totally unprepared for that. Um, <laughs> we've got, uh, a look at, uh, uh, Beast Machines Megatron's unused prototype, uh, head sculpt. And man, that just it reminds me. that mask. 
yeah, it really did need that mask. It it just it reminds me of, what, of a story I read. Uh, Douglas Adams, the author of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, was talking about reading uh, a book Arthur C. Clarke put out about all the ideas Stanley Kubrick did not use for 2001. And he said, by the end of the book, you have tremendous uh, respect for Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> Uh, we've also got uh, color photos of uh, TFC Toys' unofficial Rolling Thunder style Optimus Prime, which looks really nice. Actually, I like the uh, I like the armor. This is this is the first time I've actually looked at this photo. Looks pretty good. It's very full armor Gundam. Yes, it is. Luckily, not the Thunderbolt style. So, well, you know. But uh, and also uh, an interview. Uh, with uh, John Barber about the end of the IDW Transformers history with the upcoming coming Unicron series, which starts, I believe, next month. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Don, what's on the network this week? What's on the network this week? It's a Don Deal, episode number three on this episode of It's a Don Deal. Don answers a listener question about the evolution of Mecha and why it hasn't borrowed more from Transformers, the possibility of a Titan-class Unicron, his buy or sell on Transformers Authentics, and why Sakara Tomy is leaving money on the table. RPG Lessons Learned, Episode 57, Maggie's Ghost, Savage Worlds. This week on RPG Lessons Learned, Dusty, Brian, and Mike continue their ETU Savage Worlds discussion with a game that changes their campaign forever. It was one of the worst sessions we've ever played. It's actually pretty interesting to listen to. Hmm. It was a mess. We were trying to play on Discord, and uh, Chris, different Chris, on uh, oh. who's playing, uh, was trying to do Discord on his phone. And we learned that uh, oh mobile Discord sucks. Yes, it does. Yes. I never tried. Doesn't, mo- doesn't most every mobile chat platform... Skype works well, great. Well, I assume it also has a lot to do with like the hardware you're trying to use it on. Brand new iPhone. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. your problem. It's an iPhone. No, <laughs> brand new iPhone, and he has fiber optic gigabit internet, and he lives a mile <laughs> from me. So, the connection should have been fine. Why didn't he just come over? Well, it's it, we're all, yeah. we all live within like two miles of each other. But we, okay, then why are you on Discord? Uh, there's a long, convoluted reason as to why, but we wanted... I... Part of it, part of it, so here's the thing, part of it on the show, what we try to do is we try to do different things so we can talk about it, and one of it is, can we do a campaign remotely? We're uh, learning that we can't. Apparently okay, not. You should, have, you should have led with that, and then you wouldn't have had me and Matt treating you like you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Diecast, you had some stuff this week, didn't you, Post? Yeah, I uh, put Blot up yesterday at tfradio.net slash reviews or youtube.com slash RC reviews. Yeah, there's some Blot. I blotted all over that. Ugh. Um, yeah, and I only made, just forewarned, I only made him into an arm because I think because he should be correct. an arm. Yes. And uh, I works. will have a review posted soon. I recorded it. I just have to edit and post it of uh, the unique, unique toys. The Wai Zhang uh, Ultima Guard. Oh, That's cool. the Omega Supreme, right? Omega Supreme, yeah. So real quick, uh, before we jump to anything else, uh, Sean uh, has done a couple of uh, Don shirt ideas. And Don... And the art is modeling them. So, this is the shirt that I was thinking of right here. Oh, okay. I get it now. Yeah. I like that. So, again, it's the mustache, the glasses, the, the, the hair. Why do I look like Why do I look like Dr. Wiley? <laughs> um, no, you're Eggman. Well, a young Dr. Kind of, Wiley, I guess. I think it's kind of more a uh, Wiley-Robotnik hybrid there. Yeah. Yes. Here's the other oh. one. Yeah. With Massey. Oh, I like that. Actually, if we could get that made it into vector art, if if John could recreate that in vector, that would be amazing. John is substantially better with Illustrator than I am. But than any of us. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's lovely. John thinks in Illustrator. Yeah, he thinks in vector. I think <laughs> in raster. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, well, that's the more like traditional, like linear analog way to think. Yeah. John's just on a you know separate level. Yeah, true. Totally. I wish I could think in vector. I wish I could think in vector. That's a cool thing to be able to claim about yourself. Yeah, I think in vector. Mm-hmm. I think in IRC commands. Oh God, me too. <laughs> okay, so with that being Remnants said, of a misspent youth, <sighs> misspent early adulthood for me. That too. TFRadio.net slash 574 is where you can view the show notes. Uh, you can leave us a voicemail at 931-994-6268. Uh, also, if you're watching live, we'll be doing It's a Don Deal in about 15 minutes. Uh, so join us uh, each week uh, for the live stream of RFC around 7.30 Eastern Time or 8 p.m. is when the show actually starts. And we start a Don Deal. It's a Don Deal around 9.30 Eastern Time. So both Don and I are both exhausted, so we'll see how this goes. It's going to be great. I haven't even done show notes yet, so I'll have to do that here in a minute. Uh, you can find us on the interwebs. We're on Twitter at TF Radio, on Facebook at Facebook.com slash TF Radio, and on Instagram at TF Podcast. And you should visit our website at TFRadio.net. It's where you can find the archive of shows going back longer than I would like to admit. TFRadio.net. And if you want some shirts, tfradio.net slash shirts. Be great. Uh, Rob Springer is on at zonebase.org and at Robo Rob Springer Diecast. How do people get a hold of you? They can call me at, uh, no, uh, I'm on Twitter at Diecast2. On, you can see my reviews at tfradio.net slash reviews or youtube.com slash RFC reviews. And you can also follow me. Or friend me or something me on Facebook at uh, Reviews by Diecast. Uh, Chris. Chris RTXV. Uh, you can find me in the chat right now. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, Don? I can be reached at your local hospital or at HMRC, the number four EVR. Do you go to the hospital to have a cat removed or would that be like a veterinary problem? Either. Multiple choice. Uh, it's an out. It's an out person. Out person, out patient, out per, out per, out per, oh, out per, oh no, oh no, yeah. right, oh no, <sighs> yeah, Melvar, how do people get a hold of you? They don't. don't be at JoeCon um, later this month. God, so I probably, for probably a couple hours one afternoon. The kids yeah, aren't the kids. Yeah. The kids aren't gonna hear this. I oh, God, I wish I was going. What are, the, what are the exclusives this year, Matt? Sorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the last Joe figure ever. Probably. I, think, I mean, you're not wrong, I don't think. I think it's a, some kind of Slaughter's Marauders versus Python Patrol set. That sounds right. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I, I'm going as a walk in. I didn't pre register or oh, anything, so just I'm not tell- really looking for exclusives, but. Just tell Brian it's a tiger. It's a tiger force set. It's not. I would. Mm. I would. Yeah. It's. Yeah, not. I think the plan right now is that me and Matt are going to go walk in one afternoon and just like marvel at the sadness. I'll yeah. probably take pictures. Um, and then the entire rest of the time we're just going to hang out with Hey Mickey. Make sure you get yeah, a photo of all the, the plan, new yeah. products. <laughs> so like, yes, get, get, the, get the Hasbro display. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, they stopped doing that, I think. Um it's, well <laughs> I mean probably. Do they even send Hasbro Here's 2015's product, all three of it. Yeah, do they send Hasbro reps anymore? I think they have in the last few years. I don't know that they are this year. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I'm just going because I like to walk around convention dealer rooms, so I'm going to do that for a couple hours. Yeah, <laughs> and um, it's to come back down here. Yeah. Joe Con. <laughs> Maybe I could take one, the one kids. One tired, sad Hasbro person saying, "Look, you're the last five people who are actually interested." So here, just have samples. Yeah, June twenty first. It's going to be the silent auction, and Hasbro is just going to uh, bring in some like. Uh, test shots and stuff that they have lying around the office. we got to get rid of these things, so... No, it'll yeah. be a silent auction, but it'll be for the IP rights to G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I wonder what I'm going to do when I when I buy G.I. Joe. Like, how am I going to use that? Can we start at $5? 
No, four dollars. Oh. Anybody, four dollars. <laughs> yeah, I would probably, I would probably license it out to Mattel on the condition they make Mega Bloks. Mega Bloks. Yeah, yeah, that's sad. Oh, speaking of, I finally found, or my friend Rob found me a Skeletor. God, they did a good job on this thing. The, oh, the, I could have got you a Skeletor if I knew you were looking. Yeah, oh, I, I, I don't have those, Tila or those Faker. Are Captain Picard's all seen... over the place. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen Skeletor or He-Man in ages. Uh, Picard, the Borg, I mean, those are easy. Even the Futurama ones I can get if I need to. There are no Borg left here because to. I own I them all. all. <laughs> um, well, I've got good news for you. If you come to my town again when you come down here, we can get you more Borg. I, I, I believe my collective stands at 15 right now. So. Okay. that's. They need to assimilate more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, that's it, I guess. We'll see you next week. Oh. oh. That's the attack. That's the attack. Give it a second. Yeah. Chris. A massive bit him. him. Okay, that's it. Show's over. Yes. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if, if, only, if only we could get Mega Bloks G.I. Joe's, I would totally.